Fourth of July celebrations will kick off in the nation's capital, and they are expected to be radically different than years past. Mark Liverman has the latest from Washington. The U.S. Capitol is getting ready for an Independence Day celebration unlike any other. President Trump's salute to America will take place this evening on the National Mall. It's expected to be a show of strength, with the U.S. military playing a starring role alongside Mr. Trump. Warplanes will conduct a flyover of the Capitol, joined by aircraft from the presidential fleet. Part of the problem is we have no idea what the, the, the costs are. The expense isn't the only thing being criticized. What we're about to see is an all-day partisan political extravaganza featuring Donald Trump. Mr. Trump insisted it will be worth it, writing on Twitter, the cost of our great salute to America tomorrow will be very little compared to what it is worth. The Pentagon and the White House have not said what the event's budget is. The National Park Service has reportedly diverted some two and a half million dollars from a fund normally used to repair and improve facilities around the country. Not everyone is complaining. If that's what he wants to do, and if he wants to do it on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial, I'm all for it. In another tweet, the president promised the event would be nothing less than, quote, the show of a lifetime. Mark Liverman, CBS News, New York. The salute to America gets underway at 3.30 p.m. our time. A source is telling CNN military leaders have concerns about today's event. The U.S. military is expected to be showcased, including weaponry. And the president has already launched his reelection campaign and is expected to deliver a speech. The Republican National Committee is also distributing tickets in a special VIP area. Military members are not to participate in political campaigns, and the Hatch Act prohibits government employees and resources from being used for political activity.